Think of a future where robots are so ingrained in mankind's culture that they have become necessities like smartphones in our hands today. This scenario is not so far from today as humanoid robots are gradually becoming a mainstream necessity. Some of them look exactly like humans. You can't differentiate a humanoid from an actual human at a glance. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will look at Japan's fully performing female robots. Don't forget to subscribe and like and also press the bell icon to never miss an update about artificial intelligence, robotics and future technology. That being said, let's begin. Japan has finally launched the world's first female bio-robots for users combining artificial intelligence and incredible simulation technology. Keep an eye out! We still have a long way to go. Humans invented the robot in the mid-1950s. After more than 60 years of development, this high-tech device has been applied to much new equipment, materials, and biopharmaceutical manufacturing fields. Robots have now become an essential component of artificial intelligence technology. Combined with advanced mobile internet networks, they are constantly promoting lifestyle changes in human society. Industrial manufacturers are gradually improving production efficiency and ensuring product quality thanks to advanced equipment. So industrial robots have received unprecedented attention and are a vital part of fully automated production. Robotics is developing at a breakneck pace, particularly in Japan. Japan has introduced biological robots very similar to real people and artificial intelligence chips. Japan's robotics achievements have come a long way since the 1980s. They have made significant advances in robotics with the country leading the world in robot manufacturing, export and use. According to the Robotics Federation, Japan is home to one-third of all robot machines and equipment worldwide. The Japanese have been making humanoid robots for years, frequently used in the home electronics and automotive industries. They have built more advanced robots by relying on technology and industrial robots as influential industrial robot research and manufacturing country. Humans have entered the AI era, introducing many innovative products such as smart TVs, smart speakers and more complex intelligent robots. Many internet companies are currently focusing on AI. For example, JD.com has begun using intelligent robots to distribute goods. Jack Ma also used robotics to open a supermarket and a hotel. Japan is working on a new robot. During the research and development of this field in Japan, some researchers have trained women to do research. Biorobots are products that are made from living organisms. This product was immediately popular with many people, particularly men who preferred staying home. Because it is different from many previous robots, it has achieved such a high sales volume since its launch. This type of robot is no longer a cold machine, though it is brilliant both on the outside and inside. Many men believe they no longer need to find a girlfriend after meeting this robot. In Japan, new robots offer personalized customization services, particularly regarding the materials used. It's made of a one-of-a-kind silica gel almost identical to human skin. Natural human skin, furthermore, the robot has a stable temperature system inside during operation, similar to that of a natural person, regardless of body temperature or texture. A customization is now an option. In addition to producing completely human simulations, this robot has one critical feature – customization. Customers can customize the tall, short, fat and thin according to their preferences because everyone's aesthetic concept is different. Many otaku, anime, manga or video game fans will find this very satisfying. Researchers are now implanting artificial intelligence chips into robots as we all know. As a result, this female bio-robot can connect to home appliances such as air conditioners and televisions and control them remotely. 
female robots can also replace humans in simple household chores such as cleaning, cooking, and washing clothes thanks to the precise design of artificial intelligence chips and joints. The robot, in particular, is capable of intelligent and vivid expressions of emotions and thoughts, understanding the meaning of words and distinguishing colors. According to Sohu, the Japanese female-inspired biological robot aims to reduce gender inequality and meet male users' physical and psychological needs. As a result, many people adore this robot in everyday life. There may be friction when dating real girlfriends, but not with female robots who always obey the owner's commands. Because of this, it shouldn't be surprising that biological robots have been in high demand since they were first made. Another critical and surprising feature of this robot is its ability to give birth. Many people do not believe that robots can give birth. Although this robot cannot give birth, its internal structure is identical to that of a human being and can simulate the birthing process. Some researchers even suggest that with future technological advancements, childbirth by the robot is entirely possible if a robot is equipped with a test tube birth device. A robotic companion Pepper is a robotic companion. Over 10,000 of them can be found in Japanese homes and businesses. They're bought on a payment plan, similar to a cell phone. While we find Pepper's constant chattering annoying, many elderly couples say it improves their lives. Once their children leave the home, Japanese couples don't have much to talk about. An elderly woman, Reiko, says over the sewing machine, where she's making a sailor suit, a Santa Claus suit, and a butler suit for her robot. All with the hole in the front to accommodate a control panel. With Pepper, it's like a child has entered our lives. You could imagine your grandmother's apprehension about having a robot companion in her later years. In Japan, however, things are different. For robots to really shine, they need to be in a place where people love technology and can think of things in human terms. An unquestionable requirement, furthermore, the countries requires them. Reiko's lack of human grandchildren is exacerbated by Japan's low birth rate, which means there aren't enough workers to replace rapidly retiring workers. Return of the robots in a world where most people fear the automation will eliminate their jobs, Japan is a country that relies on them to survive. The robots are being assembled on the Glory Robot Factory production line in Japan. Rico's surrogate grandchild Pepper is treated with the same affection. Although the factory robots do not have custom Santa outfits, they are well known for their speed and work ethic. Much easier to manage than humans. We can fix them in an hour if they break down. Humans can become ill for days at a time. All in the name of practicality. The factory robots appear to result from a cross between Disney's Wall-E and Arnold Schwarzenegger's Terminator. On the other hand, their shape is designed for practicality rather than human relationships. They fit into workstations made for humans. It's challenging to imagine laid-off workers in Australia manufacturing industry feeling the same way about their robot replacements. Of course, we'll be hearing much more about Robots Stole My Job shortly. On the other hand, humanity will have to come to terms with human-robot relationships. AI has progressed to the point where it can stimulate our brains through casual conversation. We've only recently seen the official release of a robot that stimulates other organs. The grown-up, the adult robot, Harmony 2.0 is a realistic learning speaking robot and the Japanese market is ripe for such a product. Adult stores are already thriving industry. Risa Yayoshima, the manager of one store, claims that non-robotic blow-up dolls are a source of genuine affection for many of their customers. She goes on to say that they can form a sort of relationship with these surprising-looking air-filled objects. Only time will tell if Harmony 2.0 has a less latex-like scent. It's hard to say whether robots can solve Japan's modern problems of loneliness, childlessness, and aging population, 
On the other hand, people in Japan are living proof that robots will alter our perceptions of human relationships. A small company, even if it is artificial, is better than none for a population that is literally dying out. What do you think of today's video? Feel free to let us know in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this one, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel and you will find many more videos to enjoy. Thanks for watching. See you next time.